Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I have for you a UHC box that was made by Jerry Brano of Technicube. This UHC box is a command block machine in the form of a schematic that you can import into a fresh Minecraft world and turn into a game of UHC. This box handles all of the commands necessary to play UHC and provides you with a friendly interface for changing the world size, game settings, team selection and it can even pre-generate the world for you. The UHC box works in the latest Minecraft 1.8 snapshot and is a project Jerry will be updating over time to keep it up to date with the features being added to the game and also to introduce new game modes to UHC. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the box and how to install it into a world using MC Edit. If you are unable to use MC Edit there will be a pack of worlds with preloaded UHC boxes available for download. If you are a fan of the UHC box and interested in this project be sure to bookmark the Planet Minecraft page as Jerry will be adding new features and game modes in the future. When you have a box installed into a world, using it is simple. When a player joins the world, they are teleported to a barrier block cell in the sky. When the players jump, a menu will appear in chat, allowing them to choose a team, play without a team, or go into spectator mode. Players are also automatically switched to spectator mode after dying. For the admin or organizer of the UHC, there is an extra menu available when you jump if you are in creative mode, so make sure you are opt on the server so you can switch game modes and access the admin menu. In this menu you configure the game by clicking on settings. I should note at this point that orange text denotes the menu's name, yellow text and unicode symbols are clickable and most of the text you can hover over for useful information. So in the display menu you can choose if you want hearts to be displayed in the tab screen or displayed below the player's name. You can also choose to play a game where the enemy's name tags won't be visible. However you will be able to see your teammates tags. In the options menu you can toggle friendly fire, include a world border and customize a minute marker which can be used to mark episode breakers if you are recording for YouTube. In the world menu you can increase and decrease the world size in increments of 500 which will be linked to the world border size and also to the size to pre-generate the world. If you want to pre-generate the world, see the Planet Minecraft project page for estimated times on how long it takes to load each world size. It is highly recommended that you pre-generate the world before inviting other players onto the server to play UHC. So now I'm going to show you how to install the UHC box into a new world. First of all, you want to load up Minecraft in Snapshot 14W21B or higher and then go into single player create new world and then switch to creative mode that's the important thing right there then you can give your world a name or you can go in and give it a custom seed but you must be in creative mode and then you want to click create new world which will take a moment so once you're in the world you want to give it some time to load all of the chunks around here but when it's finished doing that you can exit out of the world however if you want to do something with a shrinking border or a border that's going to be smaller than 500 blocks then what you'll need to do is teleport yourself to 00. zero. So just type in your name, 0, 96, so we're up in the sky, and 0 again. And then when you fall down, you need to execute this command. So slash set world spawn, and then press enter. And now the world spawn has been set here, and then you can exit the world. So the next step is for us to import the schematic into the world using MC Edit. So load up MC Edit and then open the world that we just created with it. What you want to do is look directly downwards and then hold down Z so you can go all the way down to the bottom where you'll see these big blue squares. Now what you want to do is click on import and select the schematic wherever you saved it from the download and then you want to click on one of these big blue squares which will put it at the very bottom of the map and then once you've done that you want to click on chunk align on the side so it aligns it up with a chunk and then make sure copy air is ticked and then click on import and that's it, you've imported it into the world. So press Control S to save the world, Control W to close it, and now your world is ready for you to put it on a server so you can play with your friends. So two other important things to consider. Before you play on the map with your friends, you may want to pre-generate the world. If you don't do that and you're playing with a lot of players, you may run into some problems as the server tries to keep up with all the terrain it's generating. The other thing to consider is using a program like this, which is called Admiss. There'll be a link to it in the description box. You can use this by pressing Ctrl and N to type in a random number and find out what the seed you're going to be playing on is like so that you can avoid things like oceans, which are not good for UHC. So there are a few known issues with the UHC box. It's going to be updated over time, so hopefully these won't be a problem in the future. But as of right now, 
and when players join the world there is a very small chance that they might not be teleported up to the box in the sky and if ever this happens all you need to do is type slash tp at a at p and that will teleport all the players to where you are now if you want to use world borders make sure that you do that command to set the world spawn in the beginning to zero zero because if ever the box is outside of the world border then it will cause it to break so be careful if you haven't done that in using shrinking borders and the border goes below 500 blocks then it's going to break the box um, another issue is with the minute marker sometimes it shows a question mark instead of a number if this happens you'll need to log off the server close minecraft completely and then reload it and log back in and then that won't happen again and if you're playing a game with teams and you have a player who isn't on a team there is a chance that spread players will put that player next to someone on a team so that is something else to consider so that's just about everything you need to know with this UHC box. I want to emphasize again that it's an ongoing project so there'll be updates with bug fixes, new features and new UHC game modes as well. So be sure to bookmark that Planet Minecraft project page to keep up to date with it. You can also use the URL uhc.assumavoid.com to get there. And if you want to give some feedback to Jerry then you can send him a personal message on Planet Minecraft. And also leave him a comment down below thanking him for his hard work because this was all of his work right here. I just made the video showcasing it and he spent a lot of time and effort putting this box together for all of you to enjoy. So that is it for this video. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like. It will always be appreciated and you can find all of the world downloads and the different programs that we talked about in this video over on the Planet Minecraft project page. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.